Well, hello, uh, my name is Sean Stewart. I've been asked to come here today to talk about my painting, Rusty Parts. I'm excited to be in this Mohawk Hudson Regional in 2020. Uh, it's a very eclectic, wonderful show. I hope everybody has the opportunity to come see it. Uh, I just wanted to make a few points about my piece and you know, give you a brief background about myself. I'm a graduate of Skidmore College. And when I was at Skidmore, I was a photography student. I was interested in photography mostly until I saw a young teacher at the time, Regis Brody, in the back. He had just recently hired, and he was a realist painter, and he was painting in the back of the studio one day, and I was just watching him. I thought, that's you know, very interesting to me. Uh, and so later on, I went to uh, the San Francisco Art Institute and graduated from there. I have a photograph of myself as a young black haired student there. I was the uh, teacher's assistant to Carlos Vila, who was working very three-dimensionally at the time. He was a very exciting teacher. And it was a very influential time in my life to go away to a, a place, San Francisco, very exotic for me from a small town, Lake George, where I came from. And uh, so it was a very dynamic time. And it, another teacher at the time that I had there, Bruce McGraw, reminded me of something very important that I had heard, but I guess really hadn't committed to memory at the time. And that is that, uh, you know, painting is visual poetry and it's important to know the aspects of poetry and the elements of poetry as well as the elements of art. And so I started thinking a lot about that and continued to work in a realistic manner, which was unusual for the mid eighties out in San Francisco, but there was a strong tradition of figurative art there. And so, uh, Again, it was, it was a wonderful time. Um, years have passed. Uh, I've become an art teacher and, and I've started to develop a, you know, a different eclectic style, a lot of different mediums that I work with. Now this piece, Rusty Parts, you know, is uh, kind of a, a whimsical irony on the play, one man's trash is another man's treasure type of thing. So it's a, uh, try to create kind of a cornucopia of discarded parts here that would normally be something that people would walk by, but uh, you know, to take it and elevate it to being worthy of a subject of an art piece is kind of that uh, poetic irony that I was attempting here. I'm using the trombloy effect here, that kind of fool the eye effect, and, and that's why I, I decided to use the cut plywood to help create that illusion of uh, three-dimensionality and everything kind of pouring out into the room like all the trash in this country seems to pour out into our world. So, uh, you know, that's, that's what that's about. So I also wanted to say that, you know, I, I work in a lot of different mediums and I know a lot of artists kind of tend to work in one medium and work in a series uh, and so that's a, you know, an interesting polemic as to you know, how a young artist might approach working with art. As a classroom teacher, I'm kind of influenced by the, you know, the ebb and flow of different students' ideas. And that also influenced me. And I think, well, you know, that might be a great idea in a different medium. So a lot of times the medium or the, the concept affects the medium. For example, this is another piece that I did of a uh, you know, facade of a house but if you look through the windows, you see that there's a face staring out from the inside and it has to do about, you know, the, the solitary existence in our society that a lot of artists face. And so I just, I wanted to finish by saying that, you know, uh, being an artist is sometimes a solitary profession and it's important as a young artist, I think, to, uh, to get out and to travel around and to, and to try not to take too many classes online, but to get out into an environment where you can critique with other young people and, and especially see the country and see the world if you can. It's, it's a very important thing for young artists to do. So thank you very much for everybody that's uh, participating in this process today and by watching. And I thank you and uh, take care.